here she is finally in the freaking shop. And because it's in the shop, I can actually I'll put that over there. I can actually start doing work on it. Yay! Got an air cleaner. And a uh, carburetor with no air cleaner. I think the only thing that might be wrong with this carb is that it's dirty, and I don't know why there's float bowls on there. And that's the little thing that held all the air cleaner on. And I still don't know for sure what this is. It has two lines going down there. Oh, and uh, to in order to roll it, I had to get in. See, I, I showed in another video. From the shifter, you can't get it out of park. So you have to, well, we had to um, disconnect the shift linkage, which is this, from the shift handle, which you can see when I move that thing, the handle moves, but it still won't go out of park. And see right now, it's in park. Push it down, neutral. Oops, dropped it. And then that's neutral. Wait. Okay, that's park. That's neutral. And then... Oh, what's that one? Okay, so it's three down. I hadn't even checked. L. That's neutral. Let's drive. L. I don't know what that stands for. And then... All the way down on here. Reverse. Park. And, um, still haven't got a battery, but I have replaced the uh, battery connectors. Uh, I'll, I just noticed this. My grandpa probably did this. That's lead. Probably soldered the. whatever that is. It's probably leaking. And this door, which didn't open, finally got open, but listen to this. Pretty wicked squeaking. I had to peel back the door panel, because my grandpa, he's a, my grandpa's a body man, and he's going to take this panel off and he said there's either a pin or a clip but he couldn't figure it out so he's gonna cut the handle off to see what was behind there but I don't know what happened but anyways he just ended up tearing this off and I took the seats out there's a trunk had to shovel all of the dirt out that looks good compared to what it was, and I'm not done there. And um, this whole thing was absolutely filled with mouse crap. The rear seat was here. I don't even think it was bolted down. I think it just slides into those holes and stays there from the weight of it. And I have no idea what these patches are. But... Here's the, where the back seat was, and then I haven't cleaned all the garbage out from the front seat. That's not mine. That's not mine. And there's... Oh, I just noticed something. It's rusted through the floor right here. And uh, I'll have to peel this liner out, see what's underneath of it. But the top of the roof, and we climb up on this tractor.
top of the roof's pretty good. No rust. The hood, or the trunk hood, or the lid, or whatever you call it. And here's the front seat. Bench seat that's destroyed. And then that's the rear backrest. And the rear cushion, whatever the part you sit on. And this little jack was in the trunk of the car along with that tire and rim right there. And a garbage can full of just everything. I don't know what. This was some insulation that was roached. And these are I think I forget how they, they but they were these were in the trunk on the sides. And of course when I pulled them out there was big mouse nests in there. Still some nest in there that I haven't got out. And in the headliner, there's more nests. It's not just stuck on there. It's coming out of the roof. So I will. Well, I was going going to anyways tear the headliner out. But yeah. Oh, and the uh, whoops, the steering works. If I can turn the wheel enough with one hand, but yeah, the steering works, and of course, there's nothing for brakes, it's just the spring itself that returns the pedal, so those will need to be rebuilt, and I can't slam this door because there's cords, but this door opens. going to set up these lights around it. So I can see what I'm doing. Stuff my cloth back in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oil, old oil bath air cleaner and one last look at the engine the freeze plugs look like they're not popped out so that might be a good sign 